This is Inside Burnaby Schools for Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. Honors and awards recognizing accomplishments. Students from the district's robotics mechatronics program based at Alpha Secondary are heading to provincials. Seven teams, including youth from the school club are going to the BC Provincial Championship VEX Robotics competition this weekend. After a full day of competition, the team of Burnaby North Secondary won first place at the Beyond Business Case Study competition. Students in the Palo Alto Cybersecurity Academy held at Caribou Hill Secondary won first overall in Canada in the gold tier of the Cyber Patriot competition. In it, students are put in the position of newly hired IT professionals. Through a series of online competition rounds, teams are given a set of virtual operating systems. They have to find and fix cybersecurity vulnerabilities, all while maintaining critical services. In addition to winning nationally, they place 19th in the world of 807 teams. Mossgromp secondary teacher Danny Young has earned an Edith May Sleaf Award for Distinguished Mathematics Teaching. He was the only Canadian on this year's list of recipients. The Mathematical Association of America Award recognizes educators for their outstanding contributions to inspiring students in math, particularly through competitions. Celebrating Black History Month and beyond. Children at Confederation Park Elementary are putting on an operetta for Black History Month called Ruby Bridges. At Kitchener Elementary, students research black leaders and the contributions they have made. Two grade four or five classes in Maywood Community School created art inspired by the late black American artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Children in a variety of grades at Brentwood Park Elementary spent time learning about black history, culture, innovations and achievement. Alpha Secondary's BIPOC affinity group is putting the finishing touches on a mural they designed. In addition to celebrating celebrities and athletes whose work has influenced black culture in the students' lifetimes. It includes people who have advocated for justice in the past, such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Harriet Tubman. A student forum was held at Moss Crop Secondary where Canadian actor Omari Akil Newton spoke. He's been doing school tours for nearly a decade, sharing the contributions of black Canadians in our shared history. Burnaby Central Secondary's Black Excellence Club sold Jamaican patties and cookies they had decorated. Funds raised will be used for cultural field experiences and to put on events. At Burnaby North Secondary, social studies students examined achievements and contributions of Black Canadians past and present. Students from several schools in the district attended a STEAM competition called Blackathon. The youth joined high school students from across the Lower Mainland. They learned about a black inventor and hacked their invention as part of a Black History Month event. They also heard about a black engineer who changed the way video games are played. The district team earned second place in the competition. Fostering a culture of inclusion and kindness. Burnaby schools strive to create inclusive, welcoming environments for all students. These recently installed stairs of inspiration are at Parkcrest Elementary. The messages set in colorful hues encourage students to believe in themselves and act with integrity. At Maywood Community School, kindness sprinkles fill a donut on display for all to see as part of Kindness Month. The messages within it share acts and words of compassion. High school leadership students came together at Burnaby North Secondary for an equity, diversity, and inclusion SOGI mini conference. Discussions included conversations about creating safe, inclusive, and accountable spaces, as well as the role of allyship in leadership. Tomorrow is Pink Shirt Day, and many schools have related activities 
and learning opportunities planned. The day began more than 15 years ago as an awareness campaign about homophobic bullying. Learning while celebrating and exploring culture. Carnival provides an opportunity for French immersion students to learn through a celebration of French Canadian culture. Ecole Caribou Hill hosted eight elementary schools for an event complete with Bonhomme. The Carnival mascot also made an appearance at Cascade Heights Elementary where he took over the office. Students at Branford made La Tire de Rabo, or in English, Maple Taffy as part of their learning explorations. Bonhomme kicked off Multicultural Week at Mosscrop Secondary where students enjoyed a number of cultural activities. Second Street Community School, Kitchener Elementary, and Caribou Hill Secondary were among the schools that enjoyed dragon and lion dances for Lunar New Year. Primary students at Lyndhurst Elementary made dumplings. Elementary students at Buckingham, Gilmore, Chaffee Burke, and Maywood created displays to ring in the Lunar New Year. Children at Forest Grove Elementary, home of the district's Mandarin Language Arts Program, are getting ready for their annual school-wide Lunar New Year celebration at the end of the month. Students in the Multi-Age Cluster Class, or MAC, program at Suncrest Elementary charted their family migration stories. They had conversations about diversity within their class and learned how to find countries on a map. As part of a human library project, Youth at Burnaby Central Secondary had the chance to hear the stories of people with a wide variety of backgrounds and professions. Support for and from the community. Money for elementary schools in North Burnaby was donated by Branch 148 of the Royal Canadian Legion. Each school in the area will receive $300 for sports equipment and programs. The school community at 12th Avenue Elementary was one of many who came together for Jump Rope for Heart. Each year, several elementary schools across the district participate in the health promotion event, which also raises funds for the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada. Leadership students at Alpha Secondary collected clothing and blankets for donation to First United, which helps people on the downtown east side. Students at Burnley Mountain Secondary volunteered time with the medical charity. They prepared hospital beds to be shipped to West Africa, and in partnership with Burnaby Neighborhood House, senior leaders at Burnaby North Secondary conducted a food drive to help people in the community who need it the most. And that's inside Burnaby Schools for Tuesday, February 27, 2024. 